Hello everybody, this is your back and buddy Pratik. So today I will explain you about Go FMT package. So uh, FMT package use lot of functions like uh, FMT.printf, FMT.println and then scan, scanf, fscanf. So lot of functions are there. So many people get confused like uh, which function use for what uh, in the Go FMT thing. So I will give you some brief idea and also documentation link in the description link so you can check for more detailed function so let's learn together so in golang if you want to import any package then this is the syntax like import and need to add that package name in the quotation so uh, if you take a look at uh, golang fmt uh, packages then package.go.dev slash fmt so here it contain all the functions of the fmt package so if you see here it contain documentation contain lot of functions like append f scan app f scan f scan app then uh, print print app print ln scan scan app so lot of uh, functions are there so i will uh, try to cover few functions to get better idea and i will provide this uh, documentation link in the description also so you can refer it later so first function uh, is our fmt.println so it will print text as it is uh, whatever string is available but with the new line character f uh, print ln is there so if you print this in on the console uh, it will uh, print as a new line character at the end so if you if you check output then it will be one hello backend buddy same thing will be there next is uh, fmt.printf so let's say we want to do formatting of the string like uh, we want to add some extra string concat or some integer value then you can add percentage d for integer percentage s for string and at the end here you can write that uh, value of that uh, formatting so it will just print as a, a two hello back and body with formatting so now you will uh, get this f formatting many places so for example print uh, ln is just printing this text and print f f is for the formatting purpose okay now next is uh, f print f so let's say uh, you want to uh, print something and you want to get like how many bytes are written there or is there any error or not for the printing that thing then you have to use the f print f which take uh, os standard uh, output or input things so os dot standard out you have to write here and then your string will be there so this fmt dot f print will return us how many bytes are written and uh, is there any error or not okay so here fmt dot print uh, if if i i will print here this byte then it will print like uh, our text already whatever was there it was print by here and 15 bytes are written so it will uh, print here next is the same like as a f print there is a f so as i told like f is for formatting so same way it will be there here standard output will be there and string but here formatting will be there so percentage d is there and uh, four so it will take a four value and it will print here and return like how many bytes are written and is there any error or not so same way if you see here like for hello body and the 15 bytes are written so this is for the f print and f print f f for formatting next function is fmt dot scan so it will scan value from user so it will ask user to uh, type some values and uh, then it will scan and write into that particular variable so we have added like where name one string so it is a string data type so whatever user will type that particular space separated first let's say if you have given a space b then a will be taken here and written to the name one okay so here like backend body if i have given then backend will be scanned here and it will return to the name one string variable and it will print here okay so this is the for the fmt scan and similar way like scan f as we discussed f is for formatting purpose so you want to add some formatting let's say percentage s and some other character or something you want to make string then you can make it 
but here uh, it will take a uh, scanning of the particular variable and uh, print here uh, now just as an example here if we are giving back end body let's say these two things uh, together we have taken and we are giving back end body then first uh, our this string uh, character will be taken by here and then second will be taken by here so name one will be back end and name two will be body so in the scan and the scan app only difference like f is for formatting so you can add percentage s or different formatting options you can add here so our next function uh, is f scan f so f scan f is used uh, to scan particular values based on their data type so let's say uh, we are using strings dot new reader okay so we have to type our string here so if you see here like backend one and body is there so backend is string one is integer and then body is also string so let's say we want to scan this two and uh, we want to write here okay uh, in the stn integer variable then uh, this new reader will return that uh, type and we have to write app scan and m person st and m person in so st is string and in is integer value so uh, this backend value will store into the st and one value will store into the in variable if you want third then we have to add again the third variable like whatever we want to scan okay so here uh, it will just uh, print these things and it will return like how many words we have scanned okay so uh, if we check its output then st will print as a this packet and in will print as a one value which is integer and uh, this app, app scan words uh, so here n value will return like two words are there so here it will print a uh, two and in case error then we can use here fmt dot f print f so again f is for formatting so you can use here formatting percentage as percentage d so let's say if you don't know any data type then you can add percentage v so it will dynamically uh, take the uh, data type and here uh, print here so it will print the error yeah so this was mainly function like uh, print ln print app scan scan app and uh, f print app so all these are the part of the go fmt package and go fmt package contain lot more functions also so you can take a look in the documentation of go fmt so you will get better idea uh, and all the other functions also i hope in this lecture this go fmt related uh, package and few functions uh, you learn about that uh, information of those functions and you will able to use in your golang programming so if you have any doubts or further suggestion please write in the comment uh, and if you have any other suggestion for the golang related topics uh, you can write in the comment and i will try to cover it and if you like this video then please subscribe to my youtube channel and yeah don't forget to press on the bell icon so you will get more updates related golang programming and backend uh, programming related stuff whenever i update or upload any new content so yeah see you in the next lecture thank you very much